presenter is Anson um, Perry from Buffalo County, and the name of his presentation is Food Allergy Awareness. Hershey bars, right? They look about the same. But guess what? One of these can kill me. <coughs> Here, do you want me to take a look at these? I'll give you some time to see if you can tell the difference. Meanwhile, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Anson Perry. I like many things, such as swimming, shooting, and what else do I like? Basketball. So looking at me, it may not seem all that different, but I have a severe food allergy to tree nuts. Did either of you two see anything different on those candy bars? Well, one is a green color. Mm. Yes, that is a difference, but that's not quite what I'm looking for. So the smaller one on the back here in the ingredients, it says contains milk and soy and nothing else. And this one, says contains milk and soy and manufactured on the same equipment that processes almonds and I can't have almonds because I'm allergic to them so I can't have those and I want you to you all today to understand how to read food labels where you can find them and how you can help keep kids like me stay safe and where you can find them. You usually find them on the back of your product, on the back of the product, on around the end down here. And I read everything just in case if I miss anything, like here, or I like go over here to see if I miss anything, check under, I check everywhere, because I want to make sure that I'm safe to eat this. to pie for 4-H a few years ago on um, about um, and yeah I had to read all of the ingredients including the sugar the flour and the spices because that's how important it is for me to, to not eat tree nuts and you can help keeping kids like me stay safe as well by <coughs> knowing how knowing about food allergies, how, you, how to read food labels, and knowing where they are. And if you're ever hosting a party or serving food or candy, just have them ready so that I or someone else can read them. And if I or someone else says no, just, just say okay, because we're not too comfortable with it. And that leads us to the main part of my presentation acceptance if i say no just say okay because i've been asked many times about do you want this or do you want that and i say no i'm allergic to tree nuts i can't have that just say okay and they also say like oh it should be fine or just take a little bite it doesn't matter the size of the bite and it's not fine because my throat will swell up, I will not be able to breathe, and I might die. So, in conclusion, I hope you, everyone here learned something today about reading food labels, where you can find them, and how to keep kids like me stay safe. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you so much. Can you tell me a little bit about what would happen if you were allergic to, the, to a tree nut and you what would be the best steps for me if I was with you? How could I help you? Um, so I usually, um, when I was younger, we had EpiPens, mm -hmm. and we just like pulled a cap. I don't really know how they work because I never <laughs> got to use one. But now we have Obicues. They're a bit smaller and concealable and transportational. <clears throat> and you just like jab them in the side of my leg. Should um, release whatever is in my throat, and I should be able to breathe, and I will go to sleep. Thank you. Have you ever had to use it? Have you ever had to use it? I know you went to use the EpiPen, but have you ever used the... Um, I think I 
have used an epi pen once, I was just too young to remember it. And this, that's when I first found out about my allergies. Anything else? What's the most surprising food that you found that you couldn't eat because it had neutrinos contaminated? I think I was saying like, I think there was a type of bread. Anything else?